With the pandemic changing the way people eat at restaurants, small independent businesses are facing enormous challenges to keep customers satisfied. Our Kenny Choi has a story of a longtime restaurant owner who continues to thrive through thick and thin. Sizzling seafood noodle soup called Yosunabe boils to perfection, but it's the woman dishing out orders to her son in the kitchen who's the heart and soul of Fukusuke restaurant. 45 years. 45 years. <laughs> Oh, I'm very lucky. The 85 year old grandmother, better known as Mama San around here, humbly describes her immigrant family's arduous journey in the industry as lucky. But longtime patrons know why they keep coming back. Mama San feels like an extension to everyone's family. It feels like an extension of home. You know, they, you know, they treat her like her, their own mom. It's amazing. You know, it's kind of like a second mom to everybody. Hi. They survived COVID restrictions, but staffing remains a challenge. She employs a few part-time workers to help, but never gets a break until after closing. In 1978, Hitomi and her husband Shoji opened Fukusuke in San Francisco after working tirelessly on a Northern California farm for years and saving just enough. They relocated to Sausalito, then Larkspur. For Mama-san, it's the patrons who become friends that keep her going. Nice customer, so I, I, I really enjoy. The restaurant has its endearing quirks, including a throwback 80s wave symphony wall clock its regulars try to explain. If you sit at that table, you have to know that when the clock goes off, you have to like look up at the clock so no one thinks your cell phone is going off. And countless frogs of all colors, shapes and sizes everywhere you look. A gift from a customer a long time ago quickly turned into a tradition. Mama-san believes they bring good fortune, as well as the traditional boy dolls called fukusuke. A good boy, you know, this, uh, this boy's name. That boy's name is fukusuke. Mm -hmm. A combination of luck, hard work, and a caring community keeps this eatery thriving, when so many have shuttered since the pandemic, and no signs that it will. Eventually she is, I guess, you know, she gets tired of it. You know, when, I don't know, you know, but people love to see her for almost half a century and counting.